On this episode, I'm going to share with you how to make a traditional corned beef and cabbage dinner and just in time for St. Paddy's Day. It's made in a slow cooker, which means it's going to be simple and easy. When it comes to purchasing corned beef, you have two choices, the flat and the point. I like to choose the flat and the reason why is if you look at the flat, it's got this even cut of meat. It's quite uniformed, so I know it's going to cook in an even time, but it's also best for slicing. It has less fat on it. When we look at the point, you can see that it's got a lot of fat to it and not as much meat. I've actually washed the corned beef I've always found that it's best to give it a wash. Um, it can get a little bit too salty if you don't. And the best way to trim fat off is a sharp knife. We always push, point the knife upwards. If you dig it down, then it's gonna go into the actual meat itself. When it comes to the vegetables for our corned beef and cabbage dinner, we use cabbage, small potatoes, and some carrots. For the carrots, we're gonna peel them and then chop them. For a long cooking process, such as seven to nine hours, you can have them fairly big. Because we're cooking this in the slow cooker, we can have these big pieces of carrot. When purchasing potatoes, try to purchase potatoes that are uniformed in size. That way, everything will cook evenly. Now, a common mistake that I see people doing is they add the cabbage at the start so what we're going to do with our recipe is we're going to start the cooking off after about two hours, then we'll add the wedges of cabbage. I've washed and dried the cabbage, I've placed it on the board, and you'll notice that I've just trimmed the bottom of the cabbage using a sharp knife. I'm holding the sides as you look at the cabbage, and I'm just going to chop down the actual cabbage, turn it over, so it's flat on the surface and then we're going to chop it again just coming down the cabbage chop this into eighths by leaving some of that core on it helps the cabbage stay in place now we're going to add the corned beef and the vegetables to the pot what i like to do is take the corned beef and place it into the center so you can see it sitting in the center of the slow cooker and then around the edges, we're gonna to start to build up the potatoes and the carrots. So now that we've got the vegetables in there, what we want to do now is add the stock. And I'm using about four cups of stock in this recipe, just pouring the stock over the vegetables, the package of spices that came with the corned beef. Normally it would be peppercorns, mustard seeds, bay leaves, uh, sometimes allspice, sometimes juniper berries. Now we're gonna add them. Back home, we would always use a little bit of mustard with our uh, corned beef. And this is optional whether you like that little bit of mustard taste. If you can't get dried mustard, feel free to use some whole grain mustard. Now that we've got these together, we're going to place the lid on, let it cook for two to three hours, and then we're going to add the cabbage to it. It's been cooking for a couple of hours now, so I'm just going to remove the lid, and already you can see there's more water than what we started off with because the meat has released some of those juices. So what we want to do now is add the cabbage, and they're going to cook over the next six hours. These are gonna steam, and it's gonna, be a, it's gonna be just the right texture for this cabbage, not overcooked. Place the lid back on, and let this go for about another six hours. It takes about eight hours all together. It's so easy. As I open the lid, you can see the cabbage is held together, and it's perfectly cooked. That corned beef is so tender, I'm gonna place it on the chopping board and get out my carving knife. I don't have to put too much pressure on it. It just falls apart. And I love to serve this with some whole grain mustard. 
The briny flavors from the corned beef are assertive, but not overwhelming, especially paired with a wedge of that cabbage and the mild-mannered earthiness from those potatoes. Now you know how to make corned beef in a slow cooker. Happy days.